Hello, it is Cami from the blog Tidbits at tidbits-cami.com and today I want to take you through our grand move-in tour of our pole barn home. So you may or may not know that we built a pole barn home and if you don't know anything about pole barn homes, I'll leave a link here for details on our pole barn home, why we built it, this method, and all the um, floor plans and GTZ details of the pole barn home method. But today I just wanted to show you what we're living in basically and around the home that we've built. Now, usually when I tell people we've moved in, they say, oh, you finished your home. That's the farthest thing from the truth. <laughs> it is very, very much unfinished. We are pretty much living in construction chaos, but we are very, very thrilled to just be here and be looking forward to finishing each space as we can. So you can just consider this a before tour and then watch throughout the year as we dedicate our attention and time and resources to each space and to finishing it. Now, the state of the home right now is after a pretty good Saturday clean, but I got a little overwhelmed thinking that I needed to do some uh, Pinterest perfect images here. I'm just gonna grab this camera, flip it around, walk you through the house. Um, it is very much in a state of chaos. We have no shelving, we have no furniture, we just grabbed what we could find in our storage and threw it in the home. And so it's, it's very, very much going to be a very interesting tour, but I hope you enjoy seeing what we've done. I'll kind of walk you through and share some of the details of what I have planned for each space and kind of explain some method to our madness here. I do wanna add that this home, 90% of it, my husband did himself or hired friends here and there to help him. So this home has very much been a labor of love. We learned so much, probably in hindsight would have done a lot of things differently, but we are very much enjoying the journey and hope you enjoy seeing our home as it is now and enjoy watching us make this house our home. Okay, this is the exterior of our home. Um, you drive up the driveway right to the garage. Um, I know that's not super ideal to see a garage first thing, but we did work hard to make it cute and I'll leave a post showing all those details when we finish the front of this garage space. It was just kind of the best layout for this plot of land. Um, this is what you come up to and then We'll go around to the front door. You'll see this beautiful big wraparound porch, which I am just giddy excited about. I cannot wait to explore designing this space. And we got light fixtures running down the whole porch. Beautiful big front door. And I'm just thrilled to explore railing options and how to bring a lot of character to the exterior of the home. You'll notice not all the siding is on the home yet. Uh, old man winter came a little bit early. We didn't quite get this done, but we're just going as fast as we can to finish everything that we ha absolutely have to finish. So let's head in and I'll show you the inside of the house. So here you will see our kitchen. Um, we have cabinets that just have unpainted fronts on them. So we're going to spray those ourselves. Uh, this is a panel ready fridge, so we're getting those sized and cut to cover the, the panels of the fridge. So this, this wall of cupboards will look really seamless and really beautiful. This is an eat-in style kitchen, meaning that the dining table is in the kitchen. Now, when we designed this pole barn home, I really liked the idea of this uh, cozy concept that is popular in European homes where there's not necessarily space designated for dining rooms. This is a table that my husband built. It was actually more of a bar table with um, a rolling base and shelf, but we just chopped that off because it's a very beautiful wide table with a nice quartz top. So we're gonna use that. I still need to figure out what chairs and benches should go with it, but that's what we're rolling with right now. So these are our lovely plywood <laughs> countertops that we're using in the meantime. We just stapled contact paper on it. Um, my husband is actually working on some beautiful white oak butcher block countertops right now. 
So that will look really nice. I love our big, beautiful sink from Blanco. They are going to be one of my sponsors and this lovely faucet comes from Blanco as well. So I will give more details about that sink in a future post and video. So over here, we kind of built out a wall section to surround the range and uh, make it feel a little cozier. This range is a Verona range, also one of my kitchen sponsors. So I'll share more about that later, but I am loving how it cooks, loving how it looks. We will surround this area with uh, marble slabs and actually do a marble countertop on either side of the range. And then some cute marble shelves in here for things like spices and oils and whatnot. So let's go in here to this really good size pantry. I guess you could consider it a butler's pantry. It is chaos right now, as you can see but we have plans to do floor to ceiling, shelving, some cabinets and countertop space in here so we can have all of our appliances and everything tucked away inside the pantry and free up all the countertop space in the kitchen to work in. So big plans for this space, um, but it's gonna be a while. So let's turn this around and go into the living room. Um, it just so happens I sold all my furniture in all of our moves because we didn't have anywhere to store it and I knew I would want a sectional for this space. So we have a couple chairs to sit on. We definitely miss having a cozy couch, but all in good time. So this is our lovely white oak double Dutch door. I love it. Don't regret it one bit. It is so beautiful. I'm still trying to figure out paint colors for this room and pretty much everything else, but it's a nice open living room, opens up to the kitchen and just embraces the open concept for our pole barn home. So over here is my office space. Um, it's just pretty much chaos right now, <laughs> but we did have a way to fit in. This 18 drawer apothecary cabinet my husband made and my desk for all my computer work and we'll get to the rest later. So let's head down the hallway. This is a nice big five foot hallway. Um, here you'll see a little closet. Um, very challenging not to have any shelving or closet space. So it's just kind of a mess right now. But on the other side, we have the laundry room. This is the only finished space in the entire house. <laughs> if you saw my last uh, blog post about my laundry room, we had a deadline and we're able to get this room finished in time and I love it. If I ever need to just <laughs> take a deep breath, I'll come in here with a bag of chocolate chips and enjoy one finished space. So feel free to check the link in the description to uh, see the rest of this laundry room and all the details. Back down the hallway into the master bedroom. And now I know you're drooling over these doors unless you're my mom. She thought I should sand them and make them look prettier, but I find them absolutely Perfect. I found them at a vintage market. I uh, love the patina, smitten by them right away. We did have to widen the doorway a bit to make them fit, but they are beautiful. And I am on the hunt for an antique doorknob that will work for these, which has been harder than I thought it would be. But as you can see in the master bedroom, it's just thrown together, but it works for now. Uh, we've just thrown up rods and shelves for our closet space. This room right here will be the master bathroom. It's not huge by any means, but I have some fun plans for it to make it look beautiful and we will love having a second bathroom that we haven't had <laughs> this entire year with six people. So that has been a challenge, but we look forward to making this space beautiful. Across from the master bedroom is my little guy's room. I didn't even tidy this one up for you because <laughs> I find it to be not worth my time because he destroys it in a day anyway. So this is what it is. We've got the hardwood flooring that still needs to be put down. Oh, I did need to note, we still have concrete flooring in the bedrooms. We haven't quite got to laying down the flooring in those spaces yet, but we will. He's got a nice big closet. So all of his toys and things will be stored right in his room. And I cannot wait to make a cute little boy's room. So next to this room is the one and only bathroom. <laughs> 
well, functional bathroom in this house. It's kind of a two-space bathroom because I have three daughters. So <laughs> we'll have this area be a nice vanity area with one sink. Um, this is an antique piece that I picked up, um, but I actually don't love it. I think I'm gonna look for something else for this space. I think we need a little bit more function for three girls and their hair, but I do want to keep some character. So I'm on the hunt for a really good piece for this bathroom. And then in here is somewhat done bathroom space. Uh, we got a tub shower combo in here. Just threw in a Walmart shower curtain for now. I do love the travertine flooring that we put in and the beautiful porcelain tile from Floor and Decor. And then this beautiful marble topped open vanity. I just love it. Let's move across the hallway into the biggest bedroom at least for the kids. Um, this is where two of my girls sleep and we got a nice big closet. And of course is a mess right now because we have no order, but we're doing the best we can here. Um, this will be a fun room to do. It's good size, a nice sloped ceiling, which I threw in last minute. And of course the lovely concrete floor. <laughs> Okay, the final bedroom is my oldest girl's bedroom and it is what it is. But again, another, another nice big closet in here and we are just excited to make her her own and explore designing this space for her. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing our home as it is now and you can bet I'll be back sharing how we finish each space and giving room reveals and design details and all that good stuff. So we will be turning our focus on to the kitchen, which of course is the heart of the home and I definitely need a little more function and um, order in that space. So that is where we're going next. I've got a month full of content to bring to you as we work on each project and plenty of DIY tutorials. So I hope you will continue to follow us along. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I invite you to do that and then hang tight because I will be back to share plenty of inspiration for do-it-yourself living. Thank you for watching.